Hello, my name is Juliet Mosiatz, and today I'm going to show you um, a browser view a reporting in Maximo application. So let's log in. Most applications or many applications in Maximo do contain browser view reporting. One example of such application is work order tracking, where out of the box you will find this icon on the toolbar and that is an icon that links to a report. In this case, it's a browser view for work order uh, list. One of the requirements for placing this type of report on uh, the application toolbar is that the report must not have, must not contain any user input or parameters. Uh, the point of browser view is to open up the report via one click or immediately from an icon in the application toolbar for viewing or paging through and basically deciding later what to do with the report, such as printing, exporting data, and of course, closing the report. Um, let me show you where we could make such changes. So for example, let's take an already existing report and work order tracking application, such as work order details. To do that, we would have to navigate to a different application where we would manipulate the report to be added to the application toolbar and that will be report administration application. So let's look up that report I just mentioned which is work order details and we have to make sure that it is the work order tracking application. As you can see the report can reside, the same report can reside in other applications. So we have to make sure that we're using the correct one. Uh, look under settings section under browser view and under browser view location which must be changed from none to one of these three options, all, list, or main. If you don't do this and leave it as none, it will appear on the toolbar, but it will be grayed out and therefore you won't be able to click on it. And then you'll have to come back to this application, report administration application, and go ahead and enable it. To make things simple, let's click all, and it will appear on all tabs. In this case, we just need to save it and there is no need to regenerate request pages because remember, as I mentioned earlier, there are no user input parameters and therefore we're not manipulating the report um, in terms of that and therefore there is no need to regenerate uh, request pages. Let's go back to work order tracking application and now we see two identical icons but they are going to link to different reports. The first one that we saw out of the box was the work order list report. The second one, what we just added, is the work order details report. Application then would open a new uh, page and generate the report in real time. And from here on, we can page to the report, as I mentioned originally. We can toggle table of contents. We can print. We can also export just the data versus exporting report itself into various formats. Just to give you a quick overview of what it can do. Um, and of course, we can also close it and that takes us back to the original um, application we were working in. And this summarizes how to use a browser view in an application.